She goes by the name of Monique. Hey, clap it up, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, I'm, I'm Monique from Queens, and I'm going to read a piece called Tears for My Soul. Okay. Why is it as a black woman I'm expected to suppress my emotions and keep them inside, even though you know this life has already taken me for a ride, and some experiences did seek me when I wanted to hide? Why is it as a black woman I'm expected to keep all this pain inside of me, when you know I already lived through a painful ancestry? Why is it, why is it, why is it supposed to be? Why is it as a black woman? But when I was a little girl, no one ever told me it was okay to cry. So I always knew I always had to get back up and try. But you know, sometimes I tried so hard, I thought I would die. So why is it, why is it, why is it, why? As a black woman, I'm not supposed to cry. Why is it as a black woman, if I shed a tear, other brothers and sisters start talking about how it's about lack of courage and fear. When sometimes it's about releasing the pain in there and you need to release it and release it everywhere. Why is it as a black woman if I have cried and my tears have shown? Other brothers and sisters start talking about how they think you have no backbone despite the courage and strength that you've shown. Why is it, why is it, why is that known? Why is it as a black woman I'm expected to fit this stereotypical like image of what the hell a black woman should be? Is it because all of society simply sees the outer color in me and not my inner quality or my so-called individuality? Why is it as a black woman if I feel sometimes I may want to shed more tears than Hurricane Katrina flooded this earth as I deal with all my internal wounds of pain, suffering, and hurt? As a black woman, I'm still not seen as being someone of value or worth. Why is it as a black woman, though I've known forever long, ever since I was little, that I had to be strong? Yet if I cry, no one can seem to understand what's wrong. For ever since I was little, I remember turning on my radio and singing and dancing to the tune of I'm coming out and I want the world to know. Then I got a little bigger in this in this world, I'd see the world was telling me I was every woman and it was in me. Then the first time I had to stumble and fall. And as a black woman, I had to start all over and crawl. I was so happy that I learned about the greatest love of all. Then the first time someone tried to pick me up like a book on a shelf, I was even happier that I learned to love my damn self. But now as the world continues to hit me with a slam, the world is telling me I have to be superwoman. Yes, I am. But does society give a damn? Because it seems whatever I do, I'm still hurt by and treated unequal to a man. But yet, as a black woman, I know, yes, I can. Perhaps this is part of God's will or part of God's plan. But sometimes I need this world to see, despite the great strength represented by the outer color they see, that there is a multitude of colors that exist in me. And sometimes they mix together to produce the tears that I need to release and set free. And sometimes, I, as a black woman, I need this world to simply just allow me to be. And one day, I hope to find another soul who knows what it is to cry like me. Woo!